you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I thought I would do a what's in my backpack. Whew. This is heavy. <laughs> I've done a few other what's in my backpack videos before. Like I know I did one last year and possibly the year before that as well. And you guys seem to really enjoy them. So I thought I would do another one for my senior year. I will be honest, this is the same backpack I have used all of those years. I think I got this, I think when I came to college. I think I got it this summer between, you know, high school and college. So I have used this for all four years of undergrad. I also used it on semester at sea and all of that. And it's still holding up. So this is a great backpack and I love it. It's the North Face Borealis backpack. So let's go ahead and get into it. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of start from the outside and work my way to the inside. So it has two outside pockets here uh, that are for, you know, water bottles and stuff like that. I have one water bottle in this pocket. This is my semester at sea water bottle. I've been using this for probably too long, <laughs> but I have replaced like the straw in it and this top thing. Those are the things that mainly get gross with these kinds of water bottles, but I just can't bring myself to use any other water bottle. In the other pocket, I have a pair of sunglasses in case it gets sunny. And then I also have this uh, light for my bike. It's quite bright. <laughs> I keep this handy in the outside pocket of my backpack because uh, I have one class that ends at 9 p.m. So when I bike home afterwards, I want to take this out and put this on the front of my bike. And the reason I don't always leave it on my bike is because these are really easy to steal. People can always come by and just like undo this little thing and take it off. And wow, now they have a great light for their bike. So I recommend if you have one of these, keep it in your backpack or something like that rather than on your bike if you don't want it to get stolen. I also have a red light that goes on the back of my bike that I turn on as well, but I have duct taped that to my bike, so I don't think anyone's gonna be stealing that one. Also on the outside of my backpack here, I have my little Peru keychain. It's a little rainbow hat, I really like it. I think it helps to add some color to the mostly black backpack. I have this little pocket here in the front, so I'll go ahead and go through that. First thing I keep in here is my wallet. This is a Serengeti wallet and I really love it. I've also used this for years and years. It's getting pretty gross, but you know what? I'm still gonna use it. I also keep a pair of headphones in here. I don't keep them like coiled up or anything. I just throw them in here because these are kind of my not as nice headphones that are fine for taking everywhere. Apparently I have two SD cards in here. I had no idea. I don't know why I have these in my backpack. I think I'm gonna take them out because I don't need them in there. <laughs> I can already tell this is gonna be more of a video of like me cleaning out my backpack and finding all the random things that have made their way in here that I don't need. Like what else is in this pocket? I have some bobby pins, even though I like never really use bobby pins. I have two hair ties. Okay, that's nice to have. A toothpick, oh, another toothpick, and two little bags filled with nothing. So that is what's in this little outside pocket here that's very easily accessible. Next, there's kind of like a medium-sized pocket and it has a little space on it here to like put extra things. Right here, I actually really like to keep a pen and a pencil because they're really easy to grab. So if you're in class or in a meeting or something and you just need to quickly grab a pen or pencil, this actually happened yesterday. Like we needed a pen and I was like, oh, I'll just grab one out of here real quick. They're right here, easy to access. I also have this thing of hand sanitizer, which I've actually used quite a bit of. I like to keep this here because if I'm at school and I'm about to eat lunch or a snack or something like that, and I don't have time or it's not convenient to go wash my hands, then I'll just use this hand sanitizer. Down in this pocket in here, I have a cliff bar because it's essential to keep snacks with you because I get hungry. Also down here, if you guys can see that, I have like every color of highlighter. And then farther down into the pocket, I have this bag. And this is basically my bag of random miscellaneous essential emergency things. Wow, did that make any sense at all? Basically, I like to keep little bags like this of like anything that I might ever need. I like to keep them in my backpack, in my car, etc. So in here I have some ibuprofen, 
a cough drop, some lotion, a chapstick, a rubber band, some gum, a portable charger, some tissues, a hair tie, and even two wet ones wipes. I'm not totally sure when I would need the wet ones, but you know, I'm messy. I'll probably end up spilling something at some point and needing it. I used to have these same kind of things just like scattered throughout my backpack or just kind of thrown in the bottom, but I decided to put them in a bag. So if I'm looking for one of these things, it's a lot easier to find. So I just keep that all the way down there. Now I only have one pocket left and that is the biggest pocket right here. So this is where I keep all of my schoolwork. I always keep my laptop in here. This is my laptop that I have used all throughout college. It's the Acer R7, I believe. I don't know if it's sold anymore, but I'm pretty sure things like it are probably still sold. Next in here, I have all of my school stuff. This is my one inch binder that I use for teaching. These are all of my folders. I have a different color for every class. And these are the same folders that I used all last year. I have one notebook this semester, um, and this is the Environ Notes. It's supposed to be more like sustainable and environmentally friendly. I really like these notebooks. I feel like they're really well made and sturdy, and I like I really like the pages. I don't know why. I also like that it's a little bit smaller uh, because usually the big notebooks are just so big, and I don't write that much. So these have always worked out perfectly for me. I use the same one of these notebooks uh, for all of my GRE notes as well. And then I have my planner. This is my planner for this year. It's by At A Glance. It's just a 2018-2019 calendar. I think it's really cute and a good size. And these colors are just like me. And the last thing I have in my backpack is my pencil pouch. This is actually a different pencil pouch than the one that I've had for the past like six years maybe. If you guys have seen any of my other What's In My Backpack videos, you probably saw that like rainbow zipper pencil pouch. I've used that for so long, but it's really starting to get kind of gross and dirty and not as functional anymore. So I decided to get a different one. This one is by the Daykeen, Daykine, Daykine, I don't know, that brand. I really like them. I think they build really sturdy, good material kind of stuff. Also, this pencil bag is just so cute, isn't it? Like, again, I'm really into the blue and purple and all of that. The only thing is that it's just one big pocket, which um, makes me less organized, but whatever, that's fine. So let's go ahead and see what is in here. Wow, I keep all of this in that little pencil bag. First thing I have is a six-sided die. I actually <laughs> don't think I need this in my pencil bag anymore. I'll probably just take this out of my backpack. I have a touch screen pen thing and that's for my laptop. So if I want to draw something or, you know, put a diagram in my notes or something like that, my laptop is touch screen. So I can do that more easily with this. I have three pens in blue, purple, and pink, again, because these are my favorite colors. I have a Sharpie. I have different lead. I have 0 0.7, 0 0.3, and 0.5. I have two of these really nice pencils. I have a 0.3 lead one and a 0.5 lead one. Um, I actually got this 0.3 lead one. My brother gave it to me when I was a sophomore in high school, and I still have it and I still use it. Wow, this video is basically just me saying, look at all this stuff that I've had for like six or seven years. Because if things still work, I'm gonna keep using it. A pen, this is a really nice pen actually. It's the Uniball Vision Elite something. I have one of those like eraser pen things. I have one pencil that I don't care very much about, and this is my pencil for that when someone asks if they need a pencil, I'll give them this one, because again, I don't care that much about it, it's not that nice, whatever. Actually, now that I think of it, this was also my pencil for last semester when I was in lab, because we were working with like brain specimens and stuff like that, but we would need a pencil to use to write in our lab notebook, and I didn't want to use my nice pencil because then it gets all gross with like formaldehyde and gross lab stuff. So I actually used this one. And so now that I think of it while I'm holding it, this pencil got pretty gross, but it's still going in the bag. 
I also keep this pencil in my backpack. This one I've actually been using the most now. It's, you know, the paper mate. Everyone knows these pencils. They're great. I've been using them forever as well. This is a 0.5 millimeter one. I also keep two flash drives, even though I feel like no one uses flash drives anymore, but I do. Um, this is a 32 gigabyte flash drive. It's my main flash drive. And then this is actually a 128 gigabyte flash drive and it is full of movies. I also have a small thing of post-it notes for when I need to like quickly write something down or put a note on something. And the very last thing that I keep in this pencil bag is my eye clicker. For those of you who are in college, you might recognize this. This is basically uh, what you click in. You can see it has like A, B, C, D, E on it. You use this to click in your answers to multiple choice questions like in class during a lecture. A lot of professors use it to like make sure you're there and for participation points. And I have a professor this semester that uses it. So I've got to keep that with me all the time. And that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, subscribe if you want to stick around and I'll see you next time. Bye.